abortion is fascism, abortion is patriarchal oppression, abortion harms all. Absolutely. By the way, why is this wimp wearing a mask? Within a five mile radius of where we're standing right now, there's three, three abortion facilities that offer elective abortions through all nine months. You know, George Carlin was wrong. It's women who are for abortion you wouldn't want to screw in the first place. Hello folks, this is the Robozoid back with another video. And this one is about the Supreme Court's recent decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. Yep, and basically, which of course was signed into law in 1973, I want to say. Um... <clears throat> Anyway, so Elizabeth Fakahontas Warren shows up at this pro-abortion rally, really puts up a big stink, and sounds like she, honest to God, needs some sort of uh, relaxant, because she just goes off on some, on some tangent, hypercritical tirade, if you want to say. But, uh, and she keeps using the word, right, and she keeps on using the word extremist, right, basically accusing us on the right of doing what those on the left keep doing, behaving in such an extreme manner. Now, of course there are extremists on both sides, and I don't have time for extremism. Well, I'm going to do my very, very best in this, in this video to try not to get emotional about the whole thing, because, yeah, abortion is a subject I feel very, very strongly about, and at the end of this video, I'm going to explain why without trying to get overly emotional. Yes, I'm not a crier. I might get pissed off, <clears throat> but <laughs> let me tell you, I will act with severe restraint when, when talking about this issue. Anti-scout's honor. I only say that because I never was a scout. <laughs> but, <laughs> so here we go with Fakahontas basically roaring her guts out uh, in Washington, D.C. Here it is. And I am here because the United States Congress can change all of this. Yes, it does. Then do it. Do it. I mean, the leaked draft simply said... The I've never seen you so angry. You seem to be. This is what the Republicans have been working toward this day for decades. They have been out there plotting, carefully cultivating these Supreme Court justices so they could have a majority on the bench who would accomplish something that the majority of Americans do not want. 69% of people across this country, across this country, red states and blue states, Old people and young people want Roe versus Wade to maintain you know, as the law of the children. land. We, we need to we, do no, we're not and we to have a right Whoa, did you hear that? Yeah, there are people shouting at her. You want to dismember children. We've heard enough from the extremists. And we're tired of it. Thank you, Senator. There's people out from the door. No, I think I've heard enough from you, okay, Fakahontas? Anyway, as if Fakahontas weren't enough, well, we've got the Vice President Hyena herself going on and on as well about the whole racket. Now, at this very moment, Roe v. Wade remains the law of the land. But let's talk about what a world without Roe looks like. Women in almost half it's of the country... It's a beautiful place. ...could see their access to abortion severely limited. In 13 of those states, women would lose access to abortion immediately and outright. Lie. Those Republican leaders who are trying to weaponize the use of the law against women. Total lie. Will we say, how dare they? How dare they tell a woman what she can do and cannot do with her own body? How dare they? How dare you? 
I have no earthly clue anymore what Kami Harris is talking about. I mean, we must be talking about the biggest floozy slut bag in all of politics, who basically started her career by stopping Willie Brown and then moving onward and upward to where she is today. And she's really, really one to talk about this whole abortion argument. Come on. Sorry, I promised I wouldn't get emotional. But sometimes I can't help that. government power to make decisions about the male body you know what's funny is the government's doing that right now was essentially can't think of any bullshit lady what about making little boys into so little we'll girls the big picture those who attack Roe have been clear they want to a ban you slept your way to the top. So, this has been the Robozoid, watching the hyena and the dying St. Bernard really go at it about a subject that I just feel is horrible. And I'm going to explain why right now as we end this video. I was born with numerous health problems. I was blind, actually, the first three months of my life. I had an infection in my leg which caused uh, my right toes to be amputated. And as you also probably know, I just recently survived a heart transplant because I had such a uh, frail heart all of my life. And to tell you the truth, my parents knew this before I was born. They could have easily given up on me. They could have easily just sucked my brains out and, and aborted me, but they didn't. They believed that I had that I deserved a shot at life. And that's the most precious thing in the world, the gift of life. So, yeah, there's no consistency in the pro-abortion argument. There's no consistency in liberalism. And I just don't know how some of you people can look yourselves in the mirror and vote for a Democrat ever again. These people are mentally ill. They are the party of death.